Good morning. Hope you're having a good start to your day. It is Monday, November 18th. 512 and if you're out and about there is a little bit of fog to contend with this morning. This is our North Georgia Toyota cam down in Dalton. You can see there's a little bit of fog out there reducing visibility. So if you're traveling out, you might want to just give yourself a, a little extra time. Not going to be a big deal and it looks like in general the visibility is OK across much of the valley, but here and there it is dropping down to around a mile. So it is possible that we run into some of that fog as we head out the door. So again, just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. You might want to leave a few minutes early just to be safe. As for your temperatures on the cooler side, 43 in Murphy, 44 in Athens, 50 in Chattanooga and 51 in Scottsboro. But look at this. Once again, it's going to be a warm November day. Certainly has not felt like November all month long. And today going to be the same story, just a different day. Highs in the 70s. Here's a look at your satellite and radar. So no active weather this morning. High pressure to our southeast, still kind of controlling our weather. You'll notice some clouds streaming in throughout the day, but here's our next weather maker. So this low pressure is going to continue to track to the northeast, currently bringing some severe weather into Oklahoma and Texas, but this cold front is going to get pulled across the southeast as we go through tomorrow. That's what's going to give us our next round of rain. So here's a look at your setup and remember at the end of last week, we're talking about Sarah could form. Well, it did made impacts with parts of Mexico, and now the remnants are going to bring some tropical moisture ahead of that approaching front tomorrow, which will give these areas a better chance of seeing some good rainfall. So the further north you go, you get away from that tropical moisture. So north of Chattanooga, rainfall amounts might be a little bit lighter with higher amounts across northeast Alabama into north Georgia. Now, as we take a look at your future cast today, enjoy the weather because ahead of this approaching system, it's going to be really nice. So we'll have some sunshine breaking through. The winds will be gusty at times up to 15 miles per hour. Clouds really start to increase tonight. We could have a few sprinkles after midnight, but I think a lot of the rain holds off until tomorrow morning, and I'm not expecting a washout per se as we wake up tomorrow morning, but there will be some wet roadways out there. Better chance of rain comes in during the afternoon. Maybe a few rumbles of thunder here and there. But the ingredients for severe weather are going to stay well to our south and west, which is good news for us. It's been a relatively quiet, severe weather season so far. As we get into the evening hours, the showers become less numerous. And by the time we move into the overnight, a lot of this is going to wrap up. So rainfall amounts not going to be overly impressive, but I do think some areas could pick up a half of an inch to maybe an inch of rainfall, which is a good soaking amount. And still, I'm thinking even though this model not really depicting it, I think our highest amounts probably along the Cumberland Plateau South into parts of Georgia and Alabama. Now behind this front, the next story is going to be the potential for cooler weather and so far it's been not existing here across the Tennessee Valley. Average high this month 72 average low 55 nearly 11 degrees above normal, but changes are on the way. So tomorrow cooler Wednesday a little bit cooler, but look what happens Thursday, Friday and Saturday highs in the lower 50s here in the valley, which means many of you in our mountain communities are going to have highs in the 40s. Lows in the 30s going to be that potential for widespread frost, maybe even freezing temperatures by the time we wake up on Friday and Saturday, maybe even Sunday morning. So that's something to be mindful of this weekend. Probably want to bring those potted plants indoors and there could even be a few snow showers along the Tennessee North Carolina line by the end of the week. So much colder air on the way might be short lived though, because as we look at the temperature trend over the next couple of weeks, we're now trending above normal again. So it looks like this cold air again going to be short lived. And then we start to bump back up into the 60s by the time we get into Thanksgiving week. But here's a look at what you can expect the next seven days. Nice today, rainy tomorrow, breezy Wednesday and Thursday, and then the chill arrives by the time we get into the weekend. Ooh, the chill is here. So it's feeling like, a, like the holidays a little bit mm -hmm. until next week. And then it goes back up and you can probably barbecue on Thanksgiving. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can't believe Thanksgiving is, I mean, this is the last weekend before Thanksgiving. So it's time to get those uh, plans. Yeah, mm -hmm. your plans Ready and, to go. and your outfits too, because it's going to be cold and it's going to be warm. So just pull out all the options, all the stops. All the stops. <laughs> I like it. All right. Thanks, Clay.